Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name is Mark. This is a video that um, a fair few people have asked me um, to do and I haven't actually had a chance um, to do it until today. So what people have been asking for is for me to share my collection. I'd be very reluctant to do this video, to be honest. Um, a lot of concerns around um, showing things that I don't particularly want people to know about. Um, don't want to become a target, particularly for um, thieves, I'd say, who may know my address. Um, certainly those people who I've shared trams with who know my address and are going to come round and raid my collection and take stuff. So that's why I've been reluctant. I'm still hesitant right now as to when I actually want to, to share. So I'm thinking that maybe whilst I go through my collection, I'll have a dram and maybe I'll get wasted. Um, we'll see. So, Slangy. Mm. So, that was the last of the whiskey that's coming up in a review soon, which is an okay whiskey, not brilliant. But I need to pour something else. Uh, so, what should I pour? Yeah. Tell you what I'll pour. I'll pour some Glen Orange. Or as Stuart of Whiskey Wins has recently said, Glen Orange. Glen Orange. Because they use lots of orange in the manufacture of this particular whiskey. All those orange fields that grow up there on the east coast of Scotland. Famous for oranges. So, I've not had the 10 year old Glen Orangey for. A short while, so um, bouncy bouncy booze. Let's put that one side. So, I suppose that's number one in the collection. Glen Morangy, 10 year old. So, we'll put that back down in the crate and we'll take a sip of this. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. So, where do we begin with my collection? Um, generally the very beginning is a good place to start um, so let's have a think um, well probably this tin is probably a good place to start and you're probably thinking eh how can how can there be a collection in this tin I'll show you that's how you have a collection in this tin well we've got um, we've got this one which was the um, South Shields Harriers Boys um, 400 meter in 1991. I came third, and then we've got this one, which was the boys 12 and over 80 meter hurdles in 1991. I came third, and we've got this one, which was um, the youths 400 meters in 1992, and I came second. You see, down the back, tells you about it. And then we've got this one, which is the Youth's Mile. In 1992, I came second. And then we've got this one, which again is Boys 12 and Over um, Mile. I came second in 1991. And we'll put that down there. There's a bit of paper in there. And what is this? This is, this is my collection, that's what people want to see. Um, second place at Whitley Bay in the long jump. That's a bit of a, a tatty, tatty medal that one. I've got another one here. Boys, um, 12 and over long jump, second place. I can barely see the writing on these because of these bags. Another one. These are all second, third places, aren't they? Uh, boys 12 and over 60 meters sprint second in 1991 another bronze which is 100 meters third in 1991 and then boys triple jump um, 12 and over second 1991 look you can see these these are my challenge coins they fit happily on a glen cairn like so challenge coins 
See, there's math out of me, madness. So this one is a gold. This one is first place in the boys 12 and over uh, 200 meters in 1991. This one is another gold, first place in 800 meters, boys 12 and over. And the final one here, which is another gold, which is um, boys 12 and over, first place in the high jump in 1991. So how old was I in 1991? I was 15. Yeah, I'd have been 15, I think. So quite some time ago in terms of how things go. So these are all my challenge coins. Okay, that's what these are. My challenge coins, my whiskey challenge coins. So that's, that's that one, and it's in a nice Rolls Royce tin. This was actually, I believe, it had sweets in it, and that Rolls Royce from 1931. So that's that. Then we've got a stash here. So let's just put some of these to the side for a moment. Bear with me, these, these get more interesting than just battery medals that, uh, that go back some time. So I'm just gonna remove this bag, that bag there, and then what's in here, right. So, there's quite a bit in here. So, for example, um, we've got this one, which is the St. Michael's and All Saints Fun Run, which was in about the same time, 1991, 1990, something like that. Um, the problem with a lot of these medals, challenge coins, sorry, challenge coins, they're challenge coins, um, is they, they tend to get tangled up. Tangled up, tangled up. Um, so what we have got here, yep, so this is, that's the large, that's a large challenge coin I've got here, see it's, it's, there you go, it's a big challenge coin, it sits in there quite happily, and this challenge coin uh, is the Kielder Up Dark Skies Marathon, which I did, um, if I remember rightly, in 2018 I want to say, it was March or something, 2018. Oh, we've got another one here from 2018, which is um, the um, Masters Athletics Championships um, silver medal from 2018. If you can see that, 2018. And again, it's a it's a lovely whiskey challenge coin. Sits there perfectly on the blank game. Got lots of these challenge coins. And that's what we've got. We've got. Um, October 2008, this is the Kielder, not the Kielder, sorry, the Cumbrian Half Marathon, which took place in Carlisle um, on the 19th of October 2008. Yep. So, oh, we've got another, another one of those challenge coins, I've no idea what this one is, sitting in this box here. What's this challenge coin? This is an enthralling episode of my collection, by the way. I hope you appreciate this. So this was, um, so again, South Shoots Harriers um, club competition, second in the 200 meters in 1993. Um, this, I would have been, um, try to think now, um, 17, maybe? And that was a senior race. So I would have been up against old blokes. And then we've got here the Northeast Marathon Club. So this was just basically a medal for finishing a run. Um, but this particular run uh, was the uh, was part of the Newcastle Town Winter Wonder Wonder uh, Winter, I can't even speak now. Winter Wonder runs. And it was a marathon distance around the Newcastle Town War. Uh, and the particular run I did, I came first. Uh, I totally destroyed everybody. Um, I think most people were just going out to, to, to get some miles in and I was just too long at a nice comfortable pace and I ended up winning by quite a distance. Uh, another old one, this was sponsored by the pasty makers there, Greg's. And this was a um, cancer, cancer run. I think this was... Um, something like 
um, the clean and fun one, something like that. Gets interesting, don't leave, stick with me, 10 minutes in, there's a lot more here. There's a lot more here, a lot more big medals as well. So, what else have we got here? Let's go over here a touch and, oh, oh, okay, so, how about some signatures that you won't be able to make out on my back Great North Run number from some year, I don't know what year it was, um, that scrolly right in there, that Roger Black, probably won't be able to make that out, Roger Black, um, and then that's just another metal thing, and then we've got a my Harrier Club card signed by Moses Tanui, Kenyan distance runner. Uh, and then we've got Lynn Davies autograph. Um, and I, I don't know if you can work out who that autograph is. Um, I know one of them is Daley Thompson. Then I've got Peter Elliott. Remember Peter Elliott back in the day? Uh, and then we've got, oh, uh, here we go. How about um, David Sharp? Remember David Sharp? He took over from Steve Cram, but he wasn't really as good. Well, there you go. That's the club. And that's, that's me just there with my really bad hair in a Sunderland top. So that would have been 1992, that, because that's the top that we wore in the um, FA Cup final. Um, against Liverpool and we got beaten I think it was 2-0 that was that was that season's top bear with me this is going to get more exciting believe me so what else have we got in here so we'll start with the medal over here which isn't actually a medal it's actually a plaque so this plaque this is the Buta Great North Run sponsored by Dye Coke from 1992 now, if you do the math, in 1992, when this took place, I would have been um, actually probably just turned 16. And the minimum age, minimum age I think, was 17 to do the Great Northern then. Uh, I basically was given an entry um, to do the run, so I did the run. And um, I did it in about 1 hour 18. As a 16 year old. So that's the first Great North one I did. And then basically we've got 1995 Great North one. And then we've got 1994 Great North one. And then we've got. Come on, buddy. This one here, which is the 1999 Great North one. Well, these medals need to be clean because they're a bit tarnished. Uh, this one, is really tarnished now, is the there you go, 1993 Great North one. So the 1993 one was the first one I was actually legally allowed to do. Uh, another one here, another square one from 1998. You're getting a theme here. Every year I did the Great North run. Uh, then we've got another one here, which was, oh, the, no, this is the clean and full and fun run I mentioned. This is the uh, 1988, I don't know if you can see that, 1988 clean and fun run. I think it was about six miles, something like that. Um, so in 1988, I would have been 12. Six miles, 12 year old, dead easy. Cinch, piece of cake, move on, nothing to see here. Uh, oh, we've got another. Another one from the um, St Michael's and All Search Fun Run. Again, that was a six miler. Um, probably about the same year, 1987, 1988, something like that. Um, I did that with my mum's cousin. He was kind of a chaperone. Um, so what else have we got here? Um, right, so they are all the older ones and then they changed the design. So we've got here, the 2016 Great North Run. Um, we've got the the 2015 Great North Run, sponsored by More Reasons to Shop at More Reasons. Morrison's, especially if they have decent deals on whiskey. And then 
2013, great looking. And then we've got 2009, great looking. Again, perfect challenge coins for sitting on whiskey glasses. Hey, I've probably got more challenge coins here than all of you. So this one is the Millennium Great Northern, the year 2000. And uh, another one here, which is the 2008 Great Northern. And then we've got another one, which is the 2010 Great Northern, the year my little boy was born. This would have been a month, a month before he was born. Uh, we're getting more recent in some of these now, so uh, Simply Health Great North Run 2017. Great North Run. And we've got the 2002 Great North Run. And then we've got, I think we're getting bang up the date now. Yeah, the 2019 Great North Run. So this was the last Great North Run to be run. Boom, boom, um, Before they had to go virtual because of covid and i didn't do that last year's great northern because it was cancelled it went to covid um because it was a um virtual run no you didn't run it in your sleep it was actually a run but it was by yourself and um they wanted extra money for you to enter a virtual run um i didn't want to do that anyway i postponed my entry for last year to this year this 2021 run anyway this one is the 2018 great north run and the last one from the Great North Run series here is 2016 Great North Run. Um, so if you're keeping score there, there's about 20, 22 Great North Runs here, except there's one medal that isn't actually amongst this collection. That's the one from 2004, which is when my daughter was born. And she has actually got my medal in her keepsake, keepsake box. So pop all these Great North Run medals back in here and pop that trophy in there as well um, and we'll pop that container back on there as well and we'll go over there. Right, so um, where do we go next? 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 Next, 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 next. What did I do with it? Ah, oh, it's there. Right. Okay, so we're going to go back in time a bit and we're going to go back to... Um, the um, Harriers, and this is my trophy I won for winning the Winter Handicap Challenge, which was a series of um, seven runs. The first run was the, the qualifier, and uh, what you do is you run around and set your time, and then you're then handicapped on subsequent races. So the six runs in the series after the, the initial uh, assessment run. And you have to complete four of the six. And um, if you happen to complete all six, then it's your best four results count. Um, but you have to do four to be in the standings. And each run's handicapped. So if you don't know what a handicapped run is, let's say for example, I go around and I do it in 20 minutes. Um, the next fastest person does it in 21 minutes. Well, the first run, they go off a minute in front of me and the idea is, because they can run it in 21 minutes and I can run it in 20 minutes, um, if they have a minute head start, theoretically we should both finish at exactly the same time. Uh, and you basically that repeats. So if I was to run it and they were to be slower and do it in say 22 minutes, but now it's doing 19 minutes, well, there'll be two minutes, three minutes, sorry, no, two minute, two minute handicap. Because they would then still st be starting on 21, I'd be starting on 19, so they'd be starting two minutes in front of me. And again, the aim would be to catch them. Um, but I won that particular year. Um, I'm not sure exactly what year it was, but I'm guessing it would have been something like 1992, something like that. But distance running, as you can see by the Great Northern Medals, was more my thing. Okay, moving on. Uh, what else have we got here? What else have we got here? Um, another one from South Shields Harriers. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what this particular trophy was for. It just says uh, it was part of the club sports day, so I don't know if it was uh, best overall performance 
in the particular year because it doesn't actually say what the year it was. Um, what we do know is that is a real marble base made in Italy. Okay. Um, so, these ones, another one, oh, we've got another one, um, South Shears Harriers from um, Club Sports Day. Again, I've absolutely no idea what this one was for. Probably, again, best overall performance in the Sports Day. Because what they did is they give you the individual medals, but then they also worked out um, overall giving you performances, league table, who performed best. So that was the best all rounder, really, for my age back then in the day. Another medal. So this was when I worked um, in York. Um, so this was a competition. Again, it was a handicap competition around York City walls. And um, I. this particular event might not have been York City walls, but I came uh, in as the fastest overall runner. And I'd love to know what that blue flashing light is that seems to appear in the middle of that, because there's nothing... It must be the camera. Anyway, moving on. Another one. So this was the 2004 um, summer handicap. Uh, sorry, the winter handicap. Again, I think this one was around the York City walls. It was a handicap over uh, several weeks. And then uh, the 2001, the most improved time. Because um, I went for a period around the millennium where I kind of stopped running, propel on the weight, and I had to lose the weight again. So that was probably that year I started getting back and running. Hmm. Okay, what's next? Um, well, how about if you want if you want a challenge coin? How about a challenge coin like this one? Look at that challenge coin! Huge, huge challenge coin. Um, so this one. This probably holds um, a great deal of emotion for me. Well, it does. It, there's no support about it. This is the Pennine Barrier. Um, it is from... Does it actually say the year on it? No, it doesn't. But this was from 2018. Pennine Barrier. Uh, I think, if I remember rightly, it took place on something like the 18th of June... 2018 um, it was a weekend around around the 18th or something it's 50 miles starting at um, the um, town of Malham the Yorkshire Dales and then takes you up through Malham past Malham Tarn and you basically go up the Yorkshire Three Peaks you run around you do a complete loop including the Yorkshire Three Peaks 50 mile a great big medal uh, but the reason this has a bit of emotion for me is um, my dad sadly passed away um, in late May of that year. Um, his funeral took place um, the week, literally um, a couple of days before I was due to do this. Um, and I still did it for my dad. So there's that. Okay, so I'll we'll show you this one here. This little pouch there might be so you've got this one this was last year's what the size of this challenge coin this is a bigger challenge coin in terms of size i mean phew, there's no vape that's going to be escaping from that well maybe they will through the but anyway so this is the um the 2000 the 2020 40th anniversary london marathon which didn't take place this was um awarded even though the date is wrong there. This was awarded for doing the virtual London Marathon in October. So I got up early one Sunday morning, on something like the 4th of October, 2020, and ran 26 miles, 26.2 miles exactly, um, and submitted my uh, result using their app. And uh, I then was sent the medal to say, congratulations, you have completed the virtual London Marathon. But completing a virtual London Marathon isn't the same as actually doing a London Marathon. Uh -huh. uh, here we go. That there be three London Marathon medals. So we've got them from, um, I can't remember the years to be honest. Oh yeah, here we go. 2000, the year 2000, I did a London Marathon. The year 2000 and 
2005 and the year 2008. So I've done three London marathons um, and then I've done the virtual one. And um, when I did the first London marathon in the millennium, I finished it and I swore I would never do another marathon. It killed me, it knacked me, it wrecked my body. I felt awful afterwards. Uh, and it wasn't until the next day that I got up and I thought, I'm going to apply again. So I've applied every year without fail for the last uh, 20 odd years to the London Marathon. And I was able to get in again in 2005 and 2008. Um, I haven't been able to get in since. The virtual one was just a act of desperation, I think, from the London Marathon organisers that um, they had all these mar mar medals printed. They had all the T-shirts made up. Uh, and um, it would have been just a waste of the woodman bin. So they got people like me to pay £20 uh, to plod around the streets on Sunday the 4th of October and um, submit your run time to be given the medal. I applied for this year's London Marathon, which is taking place for real in October, and I didn't get in again. Uh, I can never get in. I want to do it. I want to I wanna go back and try it again because it's been far too long since the last days and yes I've been grateful that we've done it but um, my running has or did improve I was in the best form of my life a couple of years ago and since all this Covid thing poof, my training has dissipated down absolutely nothing um, and I'm only now really starting to try and get back out and my fitness has just fell off a cliff um, so I need to try and get my training back that is my um, my collection that everybody's been wanting to see. I hope you appreciated it. Yeah, we're fools.